Hi, this is Abhijit and you're watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we will discuss a question that has been asked in CSV2 University exam in 2015. The question is like this. A fluid is confined in a cylinder by a spring-loaded frictionless piston so that the pressure in the fluid is a linear function of volume that is P equal to A plus B V. The internal energy of the fluid is given by the following equation U equal to 34 plus 3.15 PV where U is in kilojoule, P is in kilopascal and V is in meter cube. If the fluid changes from an initial state of 170 kilopascal 0.03 meter cube to a final state of 400 kilopascal 0.06 meter cube with no work other than that done on the piston, find the direction and magnitude of the work and heat transfer. See, this question says that the fluid is confined in a cylinder means it is a closed system right and it is frictionless piston this means it is a reversible process reversible process and we have pressure in terms of volume and the internal energy is given in this way right and it also says that the initial state the pressure and volume is this 170 kilopascal and 0.03 meter cube and in final state it is 400 kilopascal and 0.06 meter cube right so these things are given and we have to find out the direction and magnitude of the heat and work transfer so let's start what are the given things we have initial pressure as P1 equal to 170 kilopascal final pressure P2 as 400 kilopascal initial volume as V1 Point zero three meter cube final volume V two as point zero six meter cube. Also, you, we have the equation for internal energy as thirty four point three point one five PV and P equal to A plus bv right and nothing other is given okay what we have to find out to find work done and heat transfer right now see as uh, Work done is required and these things are required. So, uh, what we have from uh, first law of thermodynamics is that d cut q is equal to du plus d cut w. Means we have to find out d cut w first and du. So, du is what? Du is u2 minus u1 as it is a property, exact differentials. So, u2 minus u1 from this as u the equation is given so u2 minus u1 can be written as 3.15 p2v2 minus p1v1 we are just uh, for state 1 and state 2 and then we have subtracted state 2 <coughs> subtracted the states from 2 to 1 right so value comes around 59.5 
kilojoule because we know P2, we know V2, we know P1 and V1. So it comes around 59.5 kilojoule. Okay, we got this. Now, what we have here is work done. Work done can be written as integral V1, V2, P, dv okay so we have v1 as 0 0.03 and v2 as 0 0.06 and p can be written as a plus b v right dv right this now what is the main problem with this is we don't know the value of these constants a and b so we have to find out this first so we have p equal to a plus bv now for state 1 for state 1 it is p1 equal to a plus b v1 for state 2 it's p2 a plus b v2 right we have uh, value of p1 v1 p2 and v2 these are the two question, equations and there are two variables so from there we can calculate our constant a and b 170 equal to a plus 0 0.03 b it's 400 equal to a plus 0 0.06 b right these are the two equations we are just uh, linear equation with two variables From there we can get A equal to minus 60 kilonewton per meter square and B as 7667 kilonewton per meter to the power 5. Okay, we got this. So our work done equation this one will change us to work done equation will change us to w equal to integral 0 0.03 0 0.06 a is given as minus 60 plus 7667 v dv now we can calculate this work done just by integrating this thing and it will come around 8.55 kilojoule now see we got work done we have internal energy now we can use the first law of thermodynamics for heat transfer so d cut q is equal to du plus d cut w du we know as 59.5 we have calculated and d cut w we got 8.55 which means it comes around 68.05 kilojoule now these are the magnitudes now what is the direction its direction is work done by the system work is done by the system work is done by the system what this implies direction the heat is added to the system so 
from this we got the answers for heat transfer and work transfer as the magnitude as 8.55 kilojoule and heat transfer is 68.05 kilojoule and the direction of work done is work is done by the system and direction for uh, heat transfer as heat is added to the system right so we got this